Good morning. All right, so we are off, just left our house, off to go down to the PCD. Meeting out at Ridgecrest. We're staying at Ridgecrest. Um, so yeah, it should be, it's an eight hour, eight and a half hour drive from our home, but you don't know what Vegas traffic is like, so it may change. So I'm in the car. I have Ron with me. He's driving currently, and I have my buddy in the back. They're dropping me off. So we are on our way. Um, we'll take you along. made it to Vegas. We're fueling up the car, getting the last bit of gas while it's cheap before we hit California. Uh, our next stop, we're turning off at Barstow. So here we go. Made it to Ridgecrest. Made it to the Spring Hill Suites here in Ridgecrest. It is warm. It is breezy. I think we're in the 90s here. So yeah, had a little bit of drama. On the way down here while my husband was driving, I cleaned out my wallet and needless to say, I couldn't find my wallet anywhere when I got here. I had the thought of look for my wallet so I went looking for my wallet and I couldn't find it anywhere so yeah tears are flowing because I just took everything out I only had the essentials that I needed my driver's license insurance cards a good amount of cash and I was like and my credit card debit card and I was like shoot I need all of that to start so yeah tears were shed prayers were said and after digging underneath the seat and lifting up the mat it had fallen in between the console and my chair and was like upright and I couldn't see it from the top but after I pulled out stuff from the back seat there it was found it so now it's relax and figure out what's for dinner and get my resupply set to take to KMS tomorrow. Here we go. Okay, we are up here on Walker Pass. I just wanted to come check it out. Find out where it was at, how far it was gonna be. Um, we've got the historic marker. Uh, I'm actually here on the trail. The trail heads up. Let's see if I'm good at this or not. It goes up over here. So, and it comes down over there. So that's where we'll pick up people. Um, we just saw some hikers that are like, hey, I'm like, do you need a ride? They're like, easiest hitch ever. So we're going to angel in some hikers into wherever they want to go, into Ridge Crest. It's kind of, was kind of my goal. It's super windy up here, so I hope you can hear me. But here we go. We're going to do some trail angeling and do some, a little bit of resupply and figure out what we're going to do today. This morning, we 
we ended up picking up Business Time and Silent Bob from Walker Pass. And then we took them back to, they're actually staying at our hotel. So we took them back to our hotel. Um, they dropped off their stuff, took them to Walmart, uh, Home Depot, did some town chores, grabbed some all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet, and dropped them off at their room. They're going to do laundry, stuff like that. And then we'll take them back up in the morning. We'll get a picture of them. So here we go, heading out to Kennedy Meadow South. It is approximately a little less than an hour from Ridgecrest. So it is remote. Here we go. Good morning. Here we are. Um, today I pick up Sarge and his group, but first I'm going to take business time and Silent Bob back to the trail. We'll be leaving here about 6.30. It's a little after 6 right now, and so we're going to be doing a, finishing up our trail angeling and then go do some more. Um, been really nice here in Ridgecrest. I'm super, I'm still super anxious. I am. I'm anxious. I'm ready to get on trail, but I'm nervous to get on trail. So yeah, those are my thoughts this morning. Here we go. <laughs> So yeah, dropping them off at America Inn and Suites, picked up five hikers. We have Sarge, we have, I, okay, 24, we have DJ, we have Autumn, I'm missing the other girl, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> uh, went to breakfast at a great place. A little diner down here, a really good diner, like six forty nine. I got two bacon, two eggs, hash browns, and toast. Yeah, and I had orange juice on top of that, so it was good. After I already had oatmeal with business time and quiet Bob, so yeah. Uh, gonna be taking these guys around to the post office. We have to go back to eat in Yorkern and hit the post office there, hit the post office here, um, laundromat, stuff like that. So it will be another angel day of shuttling people around Ridgecrest. Ron and Race are still at the hotel. I'm not sure what their plans are today or they just may chill out and hang out in the hotel uh, while I'm shuttling people around since, since Dusty, the Subi, is only so big, I'm like squeezing everybody into the back. There's four in the back and the two of us, so, noisy. That's the day so far, and it is 9.30. 